So I've got this antique Singer uh, sewing machine light and I want to know if this switch works. What I'm going to do is show you how I test that. I don't have a bulb for it and it's not doesn't have a plug on the end here I'm just gonna tie these wires together by hand the way electricity works is uh, well in layman's terms or plumbing terms it goes in one wire and comes out the other it's a little more complicated than that but close enough so if the switch is uh, open and I don't know which way is open on this open the light will be off because the circuits open it doesn't complete the circle and so there's no continuity you close the switch that completes the circle the light comes on so I'm gonna test for continuity with my multimeter and I've got this set up so that whenever it senses uh, continuity makes a beep tie onto these wires and then there's a couple of uh, connectors inside here alright that's one that's the other if I shut this off still get it get it on one but not the other okay so this is the one I'm interested in Try another, try these alligator clips in there. Maybe that'll help me get on it. I've eliminated uh, one of the electrodes is always on with the switch in both positions, but the other electrode is the one that's switched. So now I can flip the switch and you can tell that the switch completes the continuity. So I know this switch is good and this light's going to work. That's how you check a switch. So that's how you can check a switch with continuity. It's pretty safe because there's no electricity. Well, that's a good safe way to do it and you can be sure that uh, this switch works. Alright, well thanks a lot for watching and uh, consider subscribing to my channel. We'll see you next time.